Ambulance is pushing breathing. Uh, uh, he's choking, so I'm not sure if he's breathing or not. Is he breathing? No, he's not breathing. Just tell me exactly what's happened. Um, he's choking on food, but he, he, we can't get him to stand up, so we can't do the Heimlichs. Okay, I'm organising that help for him now. Thank you very much. I'll stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly really? what to do next, okay? Okay, so make sure he's face up. Yeah. Straddle his hips with your legs. Yeah. Okay, then you're going to place your hands. Yeah. One on top of the other, just above the belly button. Yeah. Okay, do you understand me? Yeah, I do. Right. Go on. And, and then yeah. using your weight, you're going to push quickly into his stomach. Keep doing it until he can breathe, talk, cross, cough, or do anything. Right. Are you there, Keith? <laughs> There we go. Okay. And on to his side to recover it. Is he coughing? But, yeah, he's trying to. We'll just turn him onto his side so he can okay. expel anything. Hi, my name is Kim. I work for East Midlands Ambulance Service as a, an emergency call handler. When you dial 999 for an emergency ambulance, you need to remain calm and follow the instructions that we're going to give you and we need to gather as much information as possible as quickly as possible. So the first thing we need to know regarding the patient is if they're conscious and then if they're breathing. We'll then ask you what the problem is and then get the correct address. Yes, it was a great relief to hear that he was breathing and that I'd actually performed a uh, the correct procedure and it worked effectively. And that was the first time you've ever done it, isn't it? It was the first time that I've ever performed anything like that, yes. Um, and I was quite chuffed. <laughs>